I'm about to enter my philosophy class, and the first thing you learn in philosophy is never to trust anything, the truth of which you cannot establish for yourself, and certainly not to trust anyone over the age of 30. This is my philosophy class, and this is my teacher, Mr. Pickles. Yeah, Pickles. Okay, so today we are going to discuss scepticism. Who knows what it means to be a skeptic? Oh, is, is that when you have a really bad sore and it gets infected? No, uh, that's being septic. Anyone else? Well, if you're a skeptic, then you're always doubting things. Right. So then what is it to doubt something? It's when you don't believe something because you're not convinced that it's true. Excellent. So who has a good example of something they have doubted recently? I read recently on the internet that more people are killed each year by donkeys than by airplanes. Duh. Donkeys are really bad at flying. It's much safer to take a plane. So, the internet might not be gospel. Is that what you're saying? What about the things that you see? Should you believe the things you see? Absolutely. If I saw a flying donkey, only then would I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's perform a little experiment. Observe. Who thinks this pencil is straight? But... Ooh. Who thinks the pencil is bent? But why not? If seeing is believing, why don't you believe it's bent? If you took the pencil out of the water, it would look straight. Ah. Ah. See? But why think that the perception you have of the pencil being straight is any more reliable than the perception you have of it being bent. Because we've just learnt the theory of refraction. We know when light passes from one medium to another, it changes direction, making the object look bent. Where did this theory talk come from? I don't see any theories. Are you even sure that you see one thing here? Why not suppose that you've seen many pencils, some straight and others bent? I mean, how do we know that pencils exist at all? Maybe I just have pencils in my head. That explains so much. I'm about to enter my philosophy class. And the first thing you learn in philosophy is that to be wise is to know that you know nothing. No, wait, that, that's not right. Where did that come from? This is my teacher, Mr. Pickles, I think. Sir, what the, why are you dressed like that? Is that a donkey? Have you ever had a dream that was so real you thought you were wide awake? Uh, of course, but... The pencil is bent. The pencil is bent. The pencil is bent. The pencil is bent. This is your reality. Oh, I see. This is a dream. I can just wake up now and it'll all go away. Toby, I am your father. No! I'm about to enter my philosophy classroom. And... Toby, I've got a joke for you. Yeah. A donkey walks into a bar and the bartender says, Why the long face? Of all the dingy delusions in all the possible worlds, I had to walk into this one. 